Hello, I'm Zed Survivor. You've seen the title, we're doing metalwork guy today, so if you watched my carpentry guide, this is pretty similar, but it's not with a hammer, nails or planks. In metalworking, the primary equipment you will need are propane torch and welding mask for basic construction or disassembly, welding rods for construction, propane tank is for filling the propane torch, Materials for metalworking are metal sheets, small metal sheets, metal bars, metal pipes, scrap metal and wire. You can find these or get them from disassembling. Both ways are good and practical, but at first few levels you will be getting a little to no materials from disassembling, so you will have to find them. Leveling is similar to carpentry, build or disassemble. There is no TV show to boost it, so you will have to do it yourself. Don't forget to read the books because the leveling goes really slow. In Carpentry Guy we went over the blueprints first, but in this guide we will go over the disassembling first. To disassemble you will need the basic equipment which is propane torch and welding mask. Don't forget to read a book because the first two levels of disassembling will only be for XP, not for materials. You can disassemble objects like toilets, sinks, showers, ovens, refrigerators, metal shelves, dumpsters, car wrecks and a lot more. Best way of fast and safe XP is going to be big public toilet in any building and disassembling both male and female toilets will yield you a lot of XP. Other than that, houses always have a toilet and a kitchen where you can disassemble ovens and fridges. So, just keep disassembling and after you get a few levels, you will be able to actually gain a good amount of materials from it and XP. Before we start with all the blueprints, there are a few things worth mentioning. If you don't pick any traits regarding metalwork, you will not know any recipes for metalworking. But as a lot of people noticed, there are magazines that contain those recipes, so read them first and you will unlock those blueprints. So the first few blueprints everybody can do without levels or recipes are barricading windows and doors. You can do this with one metal sheet or three metal bars and propane torch. You do not need a welding mask or welding rod to do this. These barricades have 100 health points so they will withstand a lot of punishment. The only other blueprint that does not require any levels is the metal roof. But don't let the name fool you. This is same as the wooden floor, but it's made out of metal. It doesn't have to be on the top, it can be wherever you want it to be. You don't have to use the metal roof, you can just use a wooden floor instead, so it's much cheaper. Same as carpentry, your constructions are stronger the higher level you are. Now we're gonna go over all the other blueprints. The first panel is called containers. Metal shelves require level 2 and have 30 slots. Metal crates require metalworking level 4 and have 80 slots. Metal counter and counter corner require level 5 and have 50 slots. Small locker has 40 slots and requires level 6 to be made. And a big locker has 50 slots and requires level 9 to be made. Honestly, I would just build crates because you can stack them on top of each other. They have 80 slots and you only need level 4 to make them. Next panel is walls and fencing. Same as for carpentry, you will first need a frame and then you can build a wall. You don't actually need a metal wall frame to build a metal wall. So you can just use the regular wooden one. For a metal wall frame, you will need level 3. There are two levels of the actual wall. For level 1, you need level 2 of metalwork. But for level 2 metal wall, you will need level 8 of metalwork. Next is a metal fence and a pole fence. They don't protect you much and will need level 3 to make them. Next is wire fence, same stuff, but level 4 is needed. The other two fences are the big ones, they will protect you well. But the big wire fence requires level 5 and the big pole fence require level 8 to be made. Last are fence gates, first is the small pole fence gate. This one requires level 4 to be made and doesn't offer much protection. The other one is the big pole fence gate, it requires level 7 to be made. The last two are double doors and are used mostly for cars. The first one is the double pole gate, it requires level 8. And last but not least, double wire gate, which requires level 7. So those are all the blueprints. Regarding materials for pole fences and gates you will need metal pipes, for walls you will need metal sheets and for wire fences you will need wire. 
Metalworking is more late game skill and should not be prioritized in the first weeks of gameplay. I still prefer carpentry to build bases. The only metalworking I do is barricading windows and doors with metal sheets and metal bars. I think this is a great way of defense because again they have 100 health points while planks only offer 10 health points each. Now it's time for the tip of the video. Pole fences take fire damage while wire fences do not, but pole fence gates and wire fence gates take fire damage. Well you made it to the end, thank you for watching the whole guide, I hope you have a nice day, I hope you learned something new and I will see you in my next video.